Devon, you in charge yes. of all those, right? Absolutely. <laughs> the church key on sunset. Church key on sunset. Stephen mm -hmm. Fridge restaurant, new restaurant. So yep. you're in charge of all the bottles, and you also, because of those, you're in charge of making cocktails. Cocktail and well. some of them you create yourself. Uh -huh. I just had one, and I want to, it was so good. I want to make it with you. The pig lips. The pig yeah, lips. Oh, pink that's lips. probably why I like it. Yes. <laughs> my, my lips are not pink tonight, but. <laughs> Nice. So, so we're gonna go ahead and create this then, all right? Yes. So pink lips, and it has a little bit of a Grey Goose Pois, which is the pear Grey Goose vodka, as well as pomegranate seeds. We have some fresh lime juice, uh, simple syrup, and then is a little- it, Is uh, it sweet, the- No, the lime no, juice, should... fresh squeeze. Fresh squeeze juice is all the time. I'm just gonna die, right? Yeah, I shouldn't drink it, right? Yep, a little bit of a champagne to add a little effervescence to the cocktail, and then we're gonna top it off with an espuma which is a gelatin-based, uh, almost uh, kind of like a, a little bit of a foam that's gonna sit on top of the cocktail made out of a pomme liqueur, which is a pomegranate liqueur. That's so amazing. let's get it started, yeah? Yeah. So, so this how, is gonna... how do you create a, a, a drink? There's so many drinks already, and there's so many choices. It's not that easy, right? No, you've no, got no. so many ingredients you can choose from. Yeah. You can mix together. How do you go about creating just Go ahead, do I it. knew that for the cocktail list, yeah. I wanted to do a, a feminine vodka based type of cocktail. We're on the Sunset Strip, we have a lot of beautiful women coming mm. through, and I thought this type of cocktail would be perfect for it. So, this actually, we have three textures. You're going to have the bubbly, gimlet style cocktail with the Grey Goose Pois, as well as the lime juice and the simple. And then you're going to get these little tart pops of the pomegranate seeds that kind of circulates once you add the champagne, which adds effervescence. And then you're going to top it off with this espuma, which will be a little sweet, so when it comes together in the mouth, it melts. You have your dry, your acidic, your little bit of sweetness, and then of course the texture, which is very important. A little bit of nutmeg on top for aromatics. So it's this huge melding of different textures, which comes together. And it does. It was yeah, great. right? It was great. So starting so, it off. I don't know if next time I'm coming back for the food or for your drinks, right? I do both. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna start this off with uh, one and a half ounces of Grey Goose Plot. Yep. And then we're gonna do one ounce of fresh lime juice, always fresh. I'm gonna also do is one it, ounce. Is lime or lemon? Lime. Lime. Lime juice, yep. Okay. And then this is a one to one ratio by volume of simple syrup, sugar to water. I'm doing an ounce of that as well. And we're gonna shake this up. You have, you have uh, regular ice cube there. No, it's not mashed as you know, ice. No, or these are big. these are great ice cubes. Highly condensed, one inch by one inch. Because when you use chipped ice, it dilutes too fast. Right. And when you're spending good money on quality spirits, for it to dilute so fast, you're wasting your money. You're, you have to, you feel like you need to chug it. And you know, sometimes what I like, I like the big ice cube, the one that will be the big ice cube. cube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow melting highly concentrated ice so that you can actually sip on your cocktail almost a good half hour and it doesn't ruin the quality of the right. cocktail. That's right? I, yeah, so I would have to give that. Uh, so we're gonna give this oh, nice like like it. Yeah. That's that sound one here now. Right? We're gonna crack this open. And this right here is already the start of the cocktail. Nice glass. Right, beautiful. Yeah, deep fat glass. I can smell already from here. I want it to look like you're getting your money. Yeah. You know? Which you are. Okay. Now at this point, we're going to add in a uh, spoonful of pomegranate seeds, which today these were all picked as well. Okay. Top it off with a little bit of champagne. We're doing about an ounce and a half here. And this is that bubbly effect. So you see the pomegranate seeds start to circulate. And with every I'm sip. to get a second one of the evening is <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so once those circulate, you're going to get a little bite of the pomegranate seeds with every sip. And then we're going to top it off with a spuma. This is an ISI container, which has um, nitrous to cream up the ingredients. And I'm just going to go ahead and top this off here. Mm. Right? And then what I like to do, just for looks, is smooth it out. So it's not so like 
came out of an ice cream machine, right? There you go. So you're getting this nice creamy foam on top. And for aromatics, and especially because we're already in a fall, winter, to really bring it at, back into the season, because it's a nice spritzy cocktail, we're gonna Don't do a little yourself. nutmeg. Boom. It almost kind of looks like the top of a strawberry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you have right here is the, the effervescence of the champagne and the gray goose and the fresh lime juice. The pomegranate seeds which are getting you those little bite of spark tartness and then the nice slightly sweet foam of pomegranate liqueur spuma and then the nutmeg for aromatics. So how huh? do I cheer? You have no glass. Oh, love. I'm cheering you with my love. Back pop. Enjoy it. Yeah, well, thank you. Well,